everyone and welcome to the magical world of pyrography. Today I am burning a fantasy viking woman. My historical knowledge is still lacking to call her just a viking woman. Although I am doing a small wooden bookmark today, I happen to experience a lot of frustration while making a reference in that 3D. I have chosen a figure, experimented with posing, but it just did not work. Clothing was strange, face expression dumb, and so on and so forth. So I freaked out and wanted to abandon the project completely. But I made myself open the software again and give it another try. Finally, I have ended up with quite a lovely character. And this time I was more open-minded and just let myself go with the flow. I was viewing the figure from different angles and the pose just presented itself. The final render turned out really nice. Sometimes all you need is just to recognize something good which is right in front of you. It is so easy to miss it. This woman does not look at the viewer on my reference image. But it is all about the flow today, so now I'm just starting working on her eyes and they look right at me. I think I will stick to it. It might look really nice in the end. This is a bookmark, that is why I work a lot with my spear pen. It is extremely convenient not only for general outlines, but also for precise shading, because this type of wood is not easily scratched. Somehow, I really like her face expression right now. 
I think it is becoming even better than on the reference image. Creative projects do not always have to run according to a plan, because some strange random things can suddenly present themselves as perfect opportunities to enrich your artwork. Some really funny story happened to me years ago at the drawing course I was attending. I was working on a portrait for hours, and in the end spilled a coffee on it. Needless to say how upset I was when it happened. But my teacher told me not to try to clean my drawing, but just let it dry like this. And she was right, because coffee spots created really beautiful atmosphere. Bob Ross often said that there are no mistakes, just happy little accidents. And he was right. This surface is just too reflective. When it is burnt, it gets even more reflective. That is why I am getting a bit confused sometimes. Because from one angle the shading looks strong enough, but from another too pale. From my experience I can tell that if it is possible to shade darker, it is always better to go with it.
is a bookmark, so I cannot do a lot of details. The surface is just too small, so the crucial thing is to recognize which details are the most important for this picture and do them the best you can. In this particular bookmark, the most important details are the face of this woman, the hood and her hand, which plays a bit with her hair. If all of those are done right, and if there is not much surface to work with, all the other details can be just sketchily indicated and it will not harm the final result in any way. But it is very important to make all the dark values really dark, because it gives the illusion of depth.
it becomes really interesting to look at her face right now. Somehow, the eyes pierce you right to your soul. I do not know why or how, but this picture is starting to look more and more alive. This is what I like about my arts. Sometimes they just acquire life of their own without me consciously doing anything special. The background is going to be completely black this time. I think it is the best way to bring the main figure out.
in the end, I draw some highlights with my Pete Artist pen brush and burn a hole to insert a tassel. And here is my fantasy Viking woman. Maybe one day I will make a bigger picture with her, because I really like my reference image. Tell me in the comments, what do you think about this pyrography and the importance of going with the flow? If you like this video, please support me with your likes, subscribe, click the bell button, this will really help my small channel grow. I post new videos every Sunday. So I will be very happy to welcome you next week in my new video. Send you a lot of inspiration. Bye!